A toy is an item that is used in play. Playing with toys can be an enjoyable means of training young children for life in society. Different materials like wood, clay, paper, and plastic are used to make toys. Many items are designed to serve as toys, but goods produced for other purposes can also be used. For instance, a small child may fold an ordinary piece of paper into an airplane shape and fly it. Newer forms of toys include interactive digital entertainment. Some toys are produced primarily as collector's items and are intended for display only. The origin of toys is prehistoric. Dolls representing infants, animals, and soldiers, as well as representations of tools used by adults, are readily found at archaeological sites. The origin of the word toy is unknown, but it is believed that it was first used in the 14th century. Toys are mainly made for children. The oldest known doll toy is thought to be 4,000 years old. Playing with toys is considered to be important when it comes to growing up and learning about the world around us. Younger children use toys to discover their identity, help their bodies grow strong, learn cause and effect, explore relationships, and practice skills they will need as adults. Adults on occasion use toys to form and strengthen social bonds, teach, help in therapy, and to remember and reinforce lessons from their youth. Most children have been said to play with whatever they can find, such as sticks and rocks. Toys and games have been unearthed from the sites of ancient civilizations. They have been written about in some of the oldest literature. Toys excavated from the Indus Valley Civilization, 3010 to 1500 BCE, include small carts, whistles shaped like birds, and toy monkeys which could slide down a string. The earliest toys are made from materials found in nature, such as rocks, sticks, and clay. Thousands of years ago, Egyptian children played with dolls that had wigs and movable limbs, which were made from stone, pottery, and wood. In ancient Greece and ancient Rome, children played with dolls made of wax or terracotta, sticks, bows and arrows, and yo-yos. When Greek children, especially girls, came of age, it was customary for them to sacrifice the toys of their childhood to the gods. On the eve of their wedding, young girls around 14 would offer their dolls in a temple as a rite of passage into adulthood. The oldest known mechanical puzzle also comes from Greece and appeared in the 3rd century BCE. The game consisted of a square divided into 14 parts and the aim was to create different shapes from these pieces. In Iran, puzzle locks were made as early as the 17th century AD. Each culture has their own variation of toys and games. The Māori people used the poi and tirako games to develop reflexes and hand-eye coordination. They also made spinning tops called pōtaka, Children would have competitions to see which would spin the longest. Pirori was a hoop made from blended vines. It could be pushed along by tapping it with a stick. Piu, or skipping, was played with a long rope made from plaited flax. It was popular as many children could play together at the one time. Putoti was made from wood, with a footrest lashed on with flax. Children had fun playing on them, but they were also used for walking through fields of long grass or to cross small rivers. Fires made from a loop of flax. Children created patterns between their hands. Each pattern usually had a song or a story to go with it.